What's up, my mobile detailing people? I am back with another detailing video. Let's go. My favorite kind of job gets nasty, gets gritty, you get down and dirty, man. If you don't like detailing, you don't like getting dirty, don't do detailing, man, because you're going to run into some dirty jobs. In this video, we're going to talk about extracting, being about that action. All right? A lot of people do it different with extracting seats. I'm going to show you guys how I get down. Keep this in mind, you guys. When you're detailing and you're putting yourself on video, it's always going to be a better way in somebody's eyes. You know what I mean? It's always going to be a wrong way. Just as long as the client is happy, just as long as you ain't messing stuff up, just as long as you getting paid, you know what I mean? Do what you do, man. But this is my way. If you guys got a better way, comment it down below and let's grow. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so what we got over here, man, is little baby D Minty. My T, Minty, whatever you want to call it. You know what I mean? Here she is. Check it out in the back. Here's the brand right there. And that's a fact. Yeah. There it is for all the people that ask and want to know. All right. This is the top of the line commercial grade right here, man. When you're doing big boy things, this is it. But now I'm just playing. You could actually get a Bissell Pro and do the same kind of work that I'm doing. It's not in the product. It's in the detailer, man. You make it work. So don't think you need to go out and buy this big old $1,300 uh, extractor but you know it helps a lot, you know what I mean? And it puts less work on you. It's a big tank. Check this out here, follow, 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 follow me. It's a big tank. Fill the water up right here. Look at that. It's heated, you know what I mean? And here's where the gunk goes right here. Here's where it gets nasty in there. That's where it all, all goes. And then you come to the, to the back over here. Come back here. And this is where you let out all the disgusting you know, gunk that you got from the seats. All right, and then you wanna come right here. Check it out, check it out. We got vacuum, we got pump, we got heater. So right now I got it heating up the water and then I got the pump on so you could pump the water, the heater water. And this, this is the vac, which is not on. Check me out, watch. Oh, my generator not on. But uh, we about to go cut it on and get it on. Let's get it on. Right? Follow me. So this is my process. What I like to do first, of course a lot of people are gonna have problems with this. Oh, why are you wetting the seeds? It's gonna be too wet. Summertime, it'll dry, man. Leave me alone, man. All right, let me do my job. But what I like to do first is lather the seeds. So check me out here, check me out, y'all. Bam, so I pre-soak them, whoa. Damn, we soak the seats. Uh, let me grab my chemicals. So first up, we got carpet bomber, PNS, carpet, uh, upholstery right there. Here's a little bit of the specs in the back. Dilution ratio, if you didn't know. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do a light mist. As you see, these seats aren't that dirty. But check me out, look at me. Look at me when I talk to you, look at me. It don't matter what we think. The customer wants a shampoo. I'm going to make it do what it do. You know what I mean? We may look at it and be like, why he want to do that? But we ain't complaining. We here to make money. We give them what they want, man. What the customer wants, the customer gets. Don't forget. Hey, Javari. Yeah. Got a question for you on camera. Don't cut it off. Do I act like this in person? Yes. The way that I act <laughs> all the time, man. Hey, hey. This man the way all the time. This ain't no joke for the camera. <laughs> this man always trying to rhyme, rap, something. Yeah. <laughs> be easy, man. Be easy. This is me. We ain't acting, y'all. How much? Um, depends on what you're looking to get done. Yeah, 2013 Chevy Cruze. Chevy Cruze. That's an SUV, right? No, that's a uh, sedan. Sedan. Okay. So it's 150. Look at it. Yes, sir. Yeah, I had it pretty clean, but I really want another 
the outside you guys don't cook? Everything. Egg branches, onion coating, shampoo and seeds. Well, everything is pretty cool, but that's how it looks like right now. Okay. Okay. So we can I really want to get to this deep All the cracks and yeah. crevices. I, yeah, that's I mean, the seats are okay. Okay. Uh, just the cards, I mean, the mat over here. Okay. And give it some protection. Yeah. For the plastics, make it shine it up. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, but what I charge is 150 for some okay. bags. So, whenever you're ready, do you have a, your phone on you? Actually, uh, have a card. Do you have a business card? I'm going to check in my bed for one. Uh, but I ran you out. You got to do it on Saturday? Yes, I do work on Saturdays. Right. All right. Well, when you're ready, give me a call and we'll come get it done. You have a right, thank you. No problem, sir. And next up, we got the enzyme spot stain. All right. So this is spot checking. So if you see a spot, you know you spray that somewhere. This is what I like to use too. But as you can see, we don't need to use this. PNS also. Enzyme. Throw the specs in the back. All right. So now. All right, so let me give you some advice with this. You wanna be careful what bristle you're using because you could tear up the seats. So always make sure you know. I know what, what um, kind of brush goes with which seat. You know what I mean? I see what floors, I know what to swap out, yellow, red, but you gotta, you gotta learn and don't just grab it and just go in because you're gonna run into some problems. You know what I mean? So first, what I like to do is, I like to go one way. Go one way, make sure you come back the opposite way. I like to move in a pattern. Make sure I don't miss anything. And what we got right here is the D wall. I used to like to go wireless but the batteries kept running out on me. So I like to plug in, it has more power, and it works for me. I got both. I could pull out the wireless also. My brother, if he wants to use it, you know what I mean, for the quick jobs, you do that. So after the seats are drilled, I like to come through with an extractor, all right? Check me out. Oh, before I get started, you guys, you guys are not gonna like this. It's gonna be a lot of water coming out. But somebody taught me a hack. Took the guard off of the extractor and it makes the suction way stronger in the seats and it picks up more dirt. So I took this off. You know what I mean? When winter hit, you might wanna put that on. You wanna put less water on the seats as possible so that you know you don't get a bad smell or mildew. So check me out. All right, so what I like to do is I like to go one way. Hey, you guys think that these seats aren't dirty? Wait till the job is done and you'll see. And this heat is hot. Look at that. It looked like it wasn't dirty, but it was full of y'all. All right, once you go that way, make sure you go this way. Now, this is not a one and done job. Always move in a pattern. Don't be all over the place. Move it in pattern. Make sure you don't miss any spots. Bam. And then what I'll do is I'll hand it to my brother. He's normally on this side. Bam, check this out. He grabs it from right there, and now he hits it this way. Each way you go, it's gonna pick up dirt, each way. And I don't care if it's clean, I'm gonna treat it the same as if it's destroyed. 
So this same procedure gets done on every vehicle. What do you think some of the benefits are of extracting? The benefits of extracting, all right. You know what? I can show you better than I can tell you. So keep this. Benefits of an extractor is to pick up the gunk out of the floor that you can't get out from just simply wiping yourself. So pretty much this is gonna pick up all the dirt and grime and it's gonna put it inside the tank. So the benefit of this is picks it up for you, it's heated, it picks up stains that you can't get off from simply just wiping. My favorite part about this is showing the customers what was in their seats and floors when I'm finished. Cause they were like, most of them are like, man, I didn't know it was, you know, that dirty, you know, and I'm able to expose these black floors. What are some tips you would give someone if they just started extracting? All right, one tip would be always make sure you get a pattern going. So you don't miss any spots. Back, this way, that way. Um, make sure you always pick the water up. For instance, I already extracted this. Don't press the water. Make sure you always pick the water up. Get the excess water out of the seats. Make sure you always leave the windows and doors open so it can uh, dry out. Hey, any other tips that you guys have, comment it down below so we can all grow together, you guys. Off the top of my head, that's what comes to my mind. The more advice I would give is take your time when you're um, cleaning seats and floors when they're excessively dirty. Don't be in a rush. Take your time, let the chemicals sit and do their job. Make sure you drill um, everything, because that's one of the most important parts is getting all the dirt and grime um, drilled and um, agitated. And if you have to go over it more than one time, this what sets you apart from other detailers. This detailer that I go over it two times, keep it moving. Me, I would literally sit there and I'm gonna work at it, like seriously. I'm here to do my job and I love to do seats and floors. I love to do um, shampooing of the seats. So I'm gonna sit there and make sure the job is done, go over it six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 times if I have to. You know what I mean? That's a wrap, you guys. Extraction, shampoo, that's how we do it, man. Come on, check it out, check it out, check it out. Follow me, follow me. It didn't look that dirty. Let's see what we are working with here. in here get it done i hope you guys enjoyed the tips and tricks comment down below any other tips and tricks we're all looking to grow we're all looking to learn humble yourself you guys all glory to god like comment subscribe y'all know what to do with it let's go